Happy to see you here on my channel Mathematics and really interesting challenge today, tricky challenge, maybe the easiest challenge you've ever seen, but in the same way this is a very tricky challenge because a lot of students, 90% make this mistake and solve this question absolutely wrong. So what do we have right here? 4 times 4 divided by 4 times 4. So right now I have 3 options right here, so pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. Let's check our answers here in the th in the 30 seconds, so it will, be, it will be really interesting to check our answer, just trust me, this is a very tricky challenge. Okay, I want to start with this first interpretation right here, okay? This is our first interpretation, so we have 4 times 4 divided by 4 and times 4. Here is our, here is our question. And right here, if you look closely, we have multiplication on the left-hand side, yeah? And we have absolutely the same multiplication on the right-hand side, okay? It's just like on the, left side, uh, on the left side of this division sign and on the right side of this division sign. And 4 times 4, everyone knows that this is equal to 16, and right here we have the same 16, we got the same expression 4 times 4. With this division in the middle, yeah, we still have this division, so it gives us 16 divided by 16, gives us 1, this is option A. So a lot of students solve this question like that. This is our first interpretation, so a lot of students solve this question like that. But I want to say, in mass, we can't solve our challenges randomly, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for example, let's write this second interpretation, but in this second interpretation, Interpretation. Let's solve this question according to this PAMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to according to PAMDAS order of operation. So it works in the, from the top to the bottom. So the highest priority has parentheses. Then we should evaluate exponent. Then we should evaluate multiplication division group. And the last step is addition and subtraction group. Okay. So, right here, let's go through the steps. Parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. But how can you solve these challenges right here according to this PAMDAS right here? I want you to, sh I want to show you how can we solve this quickly and step by step. First of all, we should scan what elements do we have in our challenge. We have only multiplication and division. We don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have addition, and we don't have subtraction. So, we reject these parentheses, we don't have exponent, we have only multiplication, only division part, we don't have addition and we don't have we don't have subtraction, okay? So multiplication and division group. But what is the correct order? Yeah, because we don't have any of these uh, steps, we have only multiplication division group. And what tells us P PAMDAS? How can we solve this according to PAMDAS order of operation, okay? So first of all, we should scan what is the first sign from left to right, okay? So we have multiplication, we have multiplication, we have division. And what is the first sign from left to right? Right here, this is our left-hand side, this is our right-hand side. And obviously, left-hand side is right here, so the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. Obviously, Obviously, absolutely the same step as right here, okay? So we have 16 divided by 4 and times 4. Okay, and right now I, I, I want to rewrite this expression right here, but before I multiply it 4 times 4 on the right hand side, which, which gives us a lot of differences with this first interpretation. So 16 divided by 4 gives us gives us 4, because right now the first sign from left to right is this division, so we work with this division right here, not with this multiplication as we solved it before. So 16 divided by 4 gives us 4, and we still have this multiplication by 4 equal to, equal to 16. Yeah, and this is option C, and this is a very tricky moment. Right here option C, right here option A, so what is the correct answer? 16 or one. Uh, a lot of students confused about the answer. One part of student tell the correct answer is one, another part of student tell the correct answer is 16. So it turns into a big argument. A lot of students arguing with each other about the correct answer. And of course, here's my answer. What is the correct answer? Let's look, for example, at this interpretation. This is very bad interpretation in terms of math because we jump from left to right. We just multiply right here, we multiply right here, so we just do whatever we want. This is a very bad thing in terms of math. If you want to solve this question like that, you should put parentheses. Then with parentheses, parentheses, you can easily start from this multiplication and you can jump to this parentheses because parentheses has the highest priority, so it doesn't matter how many elements from here do you have, every time you should start from this parentheses. So 4 times 4 and 4 times 4 gives us 16, 16 and option A is a correct answer but with parentheses. In our case we don't have parentheses, so right here we cancel this option A, which is absolutely bad in our case. What about this solution? From left to right, multiplication, division, multiplication, this is a correct order to do this problem. Okay, so pretty here we have option we have 16, which is absolutely correct solution in our case. But I want you to look at this uh, explanation, for example, when you know 
more if you maybe if you know um, a lot of uh, in terms of mass so take a look closer right here we have this expression yeah and in the middle we have multiplication by 4 and division by 4 so it looks like you have minus 5 plus 5 so it changed nothing it changed nothing you can easily cancel this and in this expression in the middle you can easily cancel this expression in the middle because times 4 divided by 4 gives us 1 so we still have 4 and times 4 which gives us 16 so in this case so it looks like of a sort interpretation in terms of mass if you know a little bit about mass you can easily solve this question like that if you know pandas you can solve this question like that don't solve this question like that if you want to solve this question like that you should put parentheses okay so right here this is option option c is the correct answer so let's write it so let's write it option c is a solution to this to this challenge i hope you're answering it the same as mine but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel about pandas about really interesting uh, challenges every day so i hope you enjoyed this video so thank you for your support see you in the next videos and have a great day